is up? Yes. All right. Shalom. 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 All right. We're the brothers from GMS Atlanta uh, here in Georgia, giving all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, 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 Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect on 44 First Fruit. I'm the brother Kasha Kuala. I'm the brother Zakaria. Brother Yaikwa. And we're coming with the last installment of uh, the book of Obadiah. We did, what is that? Uh, verses 1 through 14. Or, yeah, we did verses 1 through 14 in a two part section. And we're on, we're going to do verses 15 through 21 to finish it off today. <laughs> You're right. And Brother Yaikwa, he came in, it's like, we know Esau, he hate us calling him E. Yeah. So it's only fitting that we break down the last part of the mm -hmm. book of Obadiah and uh, get on E real quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. So I further ado, any brother can pick up on verse 15. John, I got you. All right. This is the book of Obadiah, verse 15. Mm -hmm. It says, For the day of the Lord is near upon all heathen, as thou hast done. It shall be done unto thee, the reward, the reward you shall return upon thine own head. All right, read that from the top. Of the John, this is the book of Obadiah 15. Mm -hmm. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. The day of the Lord is speaking of the day of <clears throat> judgment. All right, ultimately manifested in uh, Yahweh Shapat, all right, which is basically is going to be um, uh, the, the apex of the Lord's judgment will be manifest um, in the valley of Jehoshaphat, where he's going to plead with his um, plead with all the nations, all right, for the sake of his people, the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. All right, you go ahead. Come continue. It says, mm -hmm. "Out as thou hast done, mm -hmm. it shall be done unto thee." Right, as thou hast done, it shall be done to thee. And what was done? You, the, you heathen, starting with the the children of E. Have um, <laughs> <laughs> the children of E, the Edomites, the so-called white race, all right, you've done great crimes um, against the children of Israel, all right, uh, from enslavement to uh, murder, uh, adultery, raping man and woman, raping women that uh, are married to man, and, you know, uh, all different sorts of fornication and witchcraft, mm -hmm. man. You know, have our people now, our people are, are completely out of their mind, man. It's at a point now where our people are fighting and killing over chicken sandwiches, man. Yep. And this is because of Esau, man. This is who who supplies the chicken sandwich? Who supplies the propaganda and all this old tired ass rhetoric that you keep pushing to our people, man? All right. This is a quick precept for that. This is um this is the book of Psalms, chapter seven, verse sixteen. It says, his mischief shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pet. Mm -hmm. Pet meaning his, his own head, man. All right, so his violence dealing, as he dealt violently with the, with the Israelites, is going to return to him. Mm -hmm. All right, and you can bring that out real quick. Uh, Ezekiel 35. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel 35, verse 15. It says, as thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, mm -hmm. because it was desolate. Right. We, you know, when we were destroyed and, and, and laid desolate, all right, because we broke the commandments, you rejoiced at that, man. You 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 uh, you uh celebrated our downfall, man. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more. Yep. Mm -hmm. It says, um, uh, so will I do unto thee. See? Thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, mm. and all Idumea, even all of it, and they shall know that I am the Lord. See, at that hour, you is going to be very clear. It's not going to be a question. Mm -hmm. You're going to know who Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is and all of his glory, man. Right? When he brings forth judgment. As you see, you know, the Israelites completely destroyed mentally, poor. You know, you, you know we went to Stone Mountain. We saw some of those slave houses. Jake was through, man. All right. The nation of Edom, likewise, is going to be laid desolate, man. Uh, actually, twofold. You know? But yeah, y'all brothers got it. Come. Come. I'm going to continue in verse 15. It says, Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. Mm -hmm. Verse 16. Oh, so I did. Like the brother was pulling up, that will 
get a get some classic scripts. Um, in First Thessalonians, uh, no, Second Thessalonians, I think one and six. Oh yeah, God. And then okay. get get some more classic Milky scripts. Uh, Revelation thirteen and ten. Yep, that's me. Uh, yeah, I got it. You get Revelation thirteen and ten. This is um Second Thessalonians. Gotta be delicate with this Bible. Let's you know, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. This is um Second Thessalonians chapter one verse six. It says, "Seeing it is a it is a righteous thing with the Most High mm-hmm. to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you." That's right. To recompense meaning recompense to pay back. Right. Uh, tribulation to those who trouble you. So mm-hmm. that's something coming upon your own head. Mm-hmm. For the slavery you put us through, you're going to go through slavery as well. It's just and it's fair mm-hmm. at the yeah. end of the day. You uh-huh. get Revelations 13 and 10. Because uh-huh. these are scripts that, you know, whoever, you know, more than likely the ones watching this, you should know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You should know these things are going to come back on Esau's mm-hmm. head. And even if you really don't, then, you know, there's people out there who don't believe in the Bible, but mm-hmm. I know you believe in the saying, what goes around comes around. Right, and mm-hmm. Esau's coming around is is coming. <laughs> they say they believe in karma. Well, yep. if you believe in karma, then you know that they mm-hmm. will have to pay yep. for yep. the sins of their fathers. They will have to pay for what they're doing right now. Uh-huh. They not they haven't changed. They still doing the same things that their fathers did, mm-hmm. man. Well, Just with a hoodwink. Get a Isaiah fourteen and uh, what's that two or twenty one? Oh um, yeah, absolutely. I can grab since you got that revelations. Oh, I'm I'm already already here. Already here. What's Isaiah 14 and 2 say? This is um, Isaiah 14 and 2. It says, And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them, mm-hmm. and in the land of the so Lord. Start at one. God. This is Isaiah 14 and verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, mm-hmm. and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them. Mm-hmm. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Mm-hmm. Verse 2. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. Mm-hmm. And they shall take them captives who captives they were. There you go. And they shall rule over their uh, oppressors. There you go. See? So, again, that's another scripture that brings mm-hmm. forth recompense and uh, a payback and uh, an eye for an eye, you can say. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We went into our slavery. That clearly describes slavery right there. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? You get that revelation? You was about to say something? Oh, no, I was just agreeing to you. It says uh, who captives they were, mm-hmm. meaning we was in captivity yep. under our oppressors. We're going to eventually take our oppressors and put them in, into captivity, mm-hmm. which is the nation of Edom, man. All of them, okay? That's right. Come, this is on Revelation 13 and verse 10. Starting nine, starting nine. Come, in verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and, and the faith of the saints. That's right. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. He who leadeth in captivity shall go into captivity. He killed with the sword shall be killed with the sword. Mm-hmm. All right, you're going to get killed by your own sword, and you're going to be led in captivity um, by your, uh, your, what is it, your younger twin brother. <laughs> God. All right, Jacob. Yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah. Uh, get Esau's blessing in Genesis 27. Okay. Who's that, 27 and 25? Yeah, right, man. Let me see. Go ahead, bro. God, and uh, like I say, too, it's, that's basically a charge that the Lord has given out, too. He said, must, like, it must be done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Meaning, you guys will go into captivity, and you, you, hey, basically, you guys will be our slaves in our kingdom of heaven, okay? That's right. That's a must be done um, situation, all right? Mm-hmm. That's prophecy, okay? That's right. The scripts have to be fulfilled. Mm-hmm. And whatever the, what's in the, in the scripts, we know in the book of Job that the Lord gave uh, uh, men the inspiration. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Like it speaks on that. So whatever was written in there, it was inspired from the ultimate, the ultimate power, Yahweh. So whatever's in there is His word. And if it say you're going into captivity, or you're gonna 
killed by the sword. Well, it has to be fulfilled because the Lord puts his word over the name. He's mm-hmm. going to keep his, he's going to keep his word regardless. Mm-hmm. You can read about it in Exodus, the second chapter, like around verse 23. The, the children of Israel were, were crying unto the Lord and sighing unto the Lord. Mm-hmm. And the Lord, it said the Lord remembered the covenant he made with uh, their forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right. So the Lord is a man who keeps his word. Right. All right. So and, it, plan is there. Go ahead. and it's not far off to believe. Like, just look at from, from the days of old, look at the, the people that rule ancient Egypt. The great Egyptian empire. Now they're eating beetles and having beer bellies, little babies with little beer, with beer bellies out there in um Sudan, man. All right, on your commercials, beg for 10 cents for some grits, man. All right, because they rose up against Yahweh Shemir Shah, he ran a number on them. Well, they're one of the most po- poor nations on earth. But guess what? Thousands of years ago, they were at the apex of all civilization. The, the empire, the society, and civilization of Rome, Greece. In this, in this glory, what was that when you, in, in, in comparison to the Dark Ages, man? All you Edomites were put in slavery in the Dark Ages, and you were pushed out into the Caucasus Mountains, man. And you were, t- you were really you were taking out your um, rulership, man. All right. So it's 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 not like we don't have exam we don't have examples of of you know those who who are once in a position of authority being completely desolate. Man, and, and put into a, a, a lower state. All right, the, the Lord He speaks about that in the Apocrypha. He said, He says, um, it's easy for the Lord to make a, a, a rich man poor, a poor, a man, poor man, man rich, lucky, you know. And, and who are those, who are those poor men? The Israelites. And He's going to make us rich. Mm-hmm. All right, He's That's doing it right now through the Spirit, right. through, the, the, through His wisdom and understanding. Mm-hmm. But ultimately, He's going to give us physical wealth. That's right. Which is the planet Earth. That's, right. uh, that's what Yahweh Shai said in uh, Matthew the fifth chapter. Mm-hmm. Says, uh, "Blessed are the poor in spirit, or mm-hmm. blessed are the meek, for right. they shall inherit the kingdom of, mo- uh, of the Most High." Right. So, or the kingdom of heaven. Mm-hmm. So, the lowly, the contrite in spirit. When you read in the Book of Psalms, we're the ones, Lord willing, we be the ones. Yeah. Who, you know, just speaking, mm-hmm. we're the ones who are gonna receive. You know ultimate glory and everything that comes on along with it and you're going to receive the blunt end of the sticky mm-hmm. you, know, you can reread uh, you can drop that and get back to Obadiah reread verse 15 and right. flow into 16 this is um, the book of Obadiah uh, 15 for the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen mm-hmm. as thou hast done it shall be done unto thee Mm. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. Oh, sorry. Uh, get Micah 5 and, and, and 15 real quick, and then we can do some more. Mm. Micah 5 and 15. So, um, book of Micah, chapter 5, verse 15, and it reads, it says, And I will execute vengeance in anger and fury upon the heathen, such as they have not heard. That's right. So, mm-hmm. hey, we understand that Jake is going to go through something that the earth has never seen before, but that's called Jacob's trouble. Yeah. Right? Yeah. In the midst of Jacob's trouble, you're going to get heathen's trouble as well. Yeah. According to Michael 5 and 15 right there. Yeah. He's yeah. going to ex- execute uh, anger. He's going to judge you like you ain't never been judged before. All right? Mm. So, just like Jake is going to go through Jacob's trouble, and we're going to see a time that we ain't never seen before. You heathens gonna see the same thing, and that that cuts anybody who says the Lord loves everybody. Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. He 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 gets mad. He gets irritated. He mm-hmm. judge. He judges the heathen accordingly as well. Con. Mm-hmm. Keep going, Obadiah. Con. This is Obadiah uh, sixteen. Mm-hmm. It says, "For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, mm-hmm. so shall all the heathen drink continually. Mm-hmm. Yea, they shall." Drink, mm-hmm. and they shall swallow. Or so I can, and they shall swallow down, mm-hmm. and they shall be as though they had not been. That's right. Uh, get Lamentations for the twenty-one. 
some classic in there, there too. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 21. And it reads, it says, um, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. That's right, Max. Up. My <laughs> bros always like to break it down like that. <laughs> Max out your credit card. <laughs> yeah. Go have fun. Get yeah. your prostitutes. Go yeah. to the club. Right. Yeah. Go do it, E. Big E. Big E. <laughs> Big Easy. <laughs> All right. Go do it, Big Easy. Good. All right. Go ahead, bro. Because it rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. Mm -hmm. The cup also, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken, and shall, shall like it, and shall make thyself naked. Get that uh, Revelation fourteen. You know how I went where it talks about drinking the cup of the Lord's indignation without mm -hmm. mixture. Because that that cup gonna pass through. It's gonna get passed right on to you. Yeah. <laughs> we gonna sit there and expect you better die, man. Take it to the head. Yeah. 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 Take it to the head. Man. Yeah. Take it to the head. Yeah. Come on. This is Revelation 14 and verse 10. The same shall drink of the wine. Go up more because we're going to, this is go, uh, what, verse 9? Uh -huh, verse 9. Because it talks a little bit about the chip too. All right, come. This is Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast mm -hmm. and his image and receive his mark and his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High. Which is poured out without mystery right. mm -hmm. into the cup of his indignation, yeah. and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone mm -hmm. in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. That's right. And in the presence of the Lamb, which is Yahweh Shai, Big E, and all you little E's, <laughs> meaning all you PR and white people, mm -hmm. Big E. Big E is the, uh, the mm -hmm. elites yeah. who don't give two shits about their own people. Mm -hmm. So all y'all little E's, y'all gonna take the shit too. Mm -hmm. You know Come what I'm on. saying? So y'all gonna have to go ahead and drink the cup real quick. Hey, so read read that it. again, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, verse 10. The same shall drink of the wine of uh -huh. the wrath of the Most High. The wine of the wrath of the Most High. Uh -huh. Which is poured without mixture. Which is poured without mixture. Poured out without poured, mixture. It's mm -hmm. poured out without mixture. All right, and what's that mean? That means it's a bitter cup. All right, mm -hmm. it doesn't have anything to, to neutralize the bitterness, and we understand bitterness coincides with affliction and captivity, man. That's right. All right, that's why even the America, if it derives from a, a Hebrew word meaning uh, Mara, which means um, bitter. Mm -hmm. All right, that's why the scripture compares our captivity and our tribulation to wormwood. All right, wormwood is a herb. If you ever had wormwood uh, as a tea or you ever ate, the herb wormwood is bitter than a hoe. It's extremely bitter, man. Because that's that's is the Lord like his captivity and and, and and death and destruction to, to bitterness, man. Because it is. And you're gonna have to drink of that cup, man. Just imagine having uh, just drink of a of a, a whole, you know, a cup of of, of, a, of a bitter drink, man. It's gonna be very uncomfortable. With no chaser. With no chaser. It's gonna be it's gonna be very it's gonna be unbearable, man. But you're gonna have to do it. You're gonna have to you, you're gonna have to undergo it, man. Just like we did. Just like you just like you force fed us. Right. Hey, it's like, it's we're, like gonna, we're gonna put that uh, funnel in your mouth. Mm -hmm. We're gonna hold you down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna tip that cup over. Yeah. It's gonna mm -hmm. go right down here. What is it trachea? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. So you go back to limitations four. Yeah. Um, verse twenty two. It says. The punishment of thine inequity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. Exactly. No more of this bullshit which we go through every day called America. No more concrete jungles. All right. No more smog and pollution in the air. All right. No more basis of men ruling anything or having to say so in anything. No more little devil kids running around. Right. Uh, no more uh, being oppressed with these wicked decrees that come out, wicked les uh, legislations that come out, all these executive orders and whatnot that come. No more of that. Mm -hmm. All right? Is there more on that? Yes, it is. It says, He will visit thy inequity, O daughter of Edom. 
He will discover thy sins. Yeah, that's right. He will discover thy sins. And when you read uh, earlier up in the book of Obadiah. Who can I? Yeah, go ahead, bro. See, and now you cut Esau because he said he would discover thy sins. And in my Bible, in the 1611 Bible, for right here for discover, it says, or carry thee captive for thy sins. <laughs> That's a wrap, man. That's a wrap. You, you little niggas are going into slavery. You little you know, nuisance to society. You're going into captivity, man. Mm -hmm. You're going into the cages, man. You're going into the dungeons. You're going into the cotton fields. Just like our ancestors did. Just like we still got to undergo to this day, man. Yep. You right. proud devils. You go. You, you about to be brought low. Yeah, um, real low. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Is that the That's all on that. You can go back to Obadiah, bro. John, this is the book of Obadiah, verse 17. Mm -hmm. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, mm -hmm. and shall be holiness, mm -hmm. and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. You got it, bro. You got it. Uh, hey, and Khan, you know, hey, the scriptures are straight to the point, you know, and the key factors are simple, all right? I'm going to just reread it right quick. It said, but upon Mount Zion, all right, shall be deliverance. Mm -hmm. We all know Zion represents the house of Israel, okay? It says, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Whose possessions? All right? Esau, man, we're going to take this, hey, your house is going to come back, all right? Israel being, being um, a bun of Esau, we're going to take this earth back, man, okay? Like the brother said, man, hey, no more unrighteous um, degrees, things of that nature, okay? Mm -hmm. Everything under Yahweh Shah is going to be righteous, that's all right? right? That's right. Our people is going to rejoice finally, okay? Yeah. We're going to have a uh, righteous king and rulership, all right? Yahweh Shah, okay? Things of that nature. So, hey, man, we're going to flourish and, and continue to be joyful forever, forever and ever, man, okay? Yeah. That's all prophecy, all right? Verse 18, it says, And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. Mm -hmm. And the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall I got a free set. Gone. Yeah. And go ahead, finish it off. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, mm -hmm. for the Lord has spoken it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's straight to the point, man. No more of the house of Esau. Call Halani like yeah, Hal yeah, Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. There won't be no more. Red motherfuckers walking around mm -hmm. here, okay? No more, you know, funny looking like Edomites. Gargoyles, man. You, you know? No no Jew rats doing their little crazy ass dance. And yeah. You, you know, we're gonna be stress free, man, okay? You know, you saw the you so called Caucasians are the cancer of the whole earth. Oh, man. That's a screen I was just thinking about. Dude. All right? Oh my gosh. You guys are a are, are fucking tumor, all right? Okay. And the Lord is about to come back to cut that tumor off. So that the um, earth and the people can uh, heal again, man. All right? Straight up. Uh, you can, yeah, bro. I, I still spirit. I was just watching Matrix before I came over here. And the, the agent on the Matrix, he was talking to um, the black guy. Morpheus. Mor yeah. That's right, Morpheus. Mm -hmm. And he was saying that, that humans, you know, he compared humans to a virus. And they always have to spread and destroy and this and that. And I was like, no, that's Esau. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what es you're correct, but that's what Esau does. Uh, yep. Esau is a virus. Esau, Esau is a cancer. He's a plague of the earth. He was absolutely correct. E but it's Esau. It's not the other nations. It's you red Hebrew Edomites. You eat children, man. Hmm. All right, and, that, and that's why you and see your your rulership is is illegitimate, man. You've proven yourself to be incapable and inadequate to fulfill the role as a leader, man. That's why we got to bring you down because you did a bad job at it, man. You did a terrible job. The earth is is mourning. We are at the brink of extinction as a as a human race. But the scripture says, if it wasn't for Yahweh Shah, or if it wasn't, me, it wasn't for the elect, no flesh should be saved. Because you damn Edomites would destroy everything because of your greed and your your avarice behavior, man. Mm -hmm. All right, I had a precept real quick. Mm -hmm. um, this is this is the book of Psalms. Chapter 149, you know, Nat Turner precept, mm -hmm. verse 6, it says, Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth 
and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people to bind their kings with chains. And who the, the, the kings of you red Hebrew Edomites, the bankers, the, the Rothschilds, uh, Donald Trump, okay, um, uh, uh, Putin, mm -hmm. all right, um, Erdogan over there in Turkey. All you damn devils are going to be bound in chains, man. Uh, that's right. All right. It says, um, verse t verse nine, like you, verse eight, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. Just like you bound our kings and our nobles with fetters of iron, man. Mm -hmm. Verse nine, it says, to execute upon them the judgment written. This is already written. Mm -hmm. It says, this honor have all his saints. Praise ye Yahweh. You uh, see? Uh. And, then, and that's the honor that the, that the man of the Lord are going to receive, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Are, are going to be able to manifest. And, and, and we, we are literally have come into that time, man. It's, it's not a matter of if, but when. It's any minute now, man. Mm -hmm. we, are, we are living in the year of Karak, man. This, these things are going to come to pass, man. That's right. Uh, yeah, man. If you have... um. You know, Esau committing suicide off of opioids and Esau, you know, telling little kids to be drag queens, things of that nature. See, exactly. You, you know, man, this kingdom is about to collapse, man. Yeah. All right. Man, we at the brink of this thing, all right? But I'm going to jump back into it. Um, you yeah, got to read Kind, kind. This is um the book of Obadiah in verse 18. It says, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, mm -hmm. and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau a stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken. Huh. Second Ezra chapter 3, verse 16. Second Ezra 16, verse 15, I'm just applying this is, uh, the fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundations of the earth. So it's the same thing with the spirit of uh, Yahweh Hashem Shai in Jake uh, in verse 18. That, that fire that's being kindled, it's not going to be put out until all the Esau is consumed by it. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So, like, we're not going to see any more, like, the brother's been harping. We're not going to see E anymore. No, no more E. According to Job, the 20th chapter. Never going to see him again. It's going to perish away like it's only done. Mm. All right? Con. You ain't never going to see it. Mm -hmm. You know, you can keep going, bro. Con, verse 19. Mm -hmm. And they of the south shall possess the mount of Esau, mm -hmm. and they of the plain, the Philistines, and they shall possess the fields of Ephraim and the fields of Samaria mm -hmm. and Benjamin shall possess Gal Galilee. Verse 20. But you see right there, we're getting all, all of our, uh, like it was speaking of in verse 17, all of our possessions yeah. back. Yeah, and more. Yeah. And more. You see, we got Samaria back when you're reading the Kings. When you read, first when you read the Gospels and, the, and how Shai told his disciples not to go into Samaria. Samaria, why? Because there are heathens there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, don't go there. All right. All right. You go back into the history. Yeah. You see, um, uh, during the time of King Hosea, mm -hmm. when oh, I think it was Shalmaneser mm -hmm. came up against him. Mm -hmm. What he he overtook uh, the Israelites and he uh, pretty much kicked them out of Samaria and the heathens dwelt there. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna get it back. Yeah. Uh, All right. Ethnic cleansing. Ethnic cleansing, exactly. Yeah. It, was a, it was a genocide type thing. Yeah. All right, but we're going to get, all, like the brother said, we're going to get all that back and more. All right, to Israelites, don't think such on a low scale that, oh, yeah, we're going to get the land of Israel back. Right. You know, mm -hmm. like that little piece of land it's they have on the map. You know, and, and, you know, some of these other Israelite groups want to fly over there and <laughs> go, you know, whatever, bro. Like, they think that's it. Yeah. No, man. It's on that whole is we own, we own that fertile crypt. First off, exactly. The world was made for our sakes yeah. anyway. Yeah. We own everything. Yeah. yeah. But that specific lot of land is way. It's the whole Middle East. It's all Iraq. It's all right. of Afghanistan, Saudi right. Arabia. It's all of that. 
All right. Yeah. It ain't just that one little strip. Right. Next to God. Exactly. Next man. To, no, it's you got to think bigger than that. Mm-hmm. That's the that's the covenant. That's the, the, that's the covenant with Abraham. What did he say? As far as your eye can see. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? So it's like. He yeah, said all yeah. that land. Because the, the scripture says in the covenant it says that from the um the river uh of the Nile River, mm-hmm. all right, um Euphrates. exactly to, to the river of Euphrates, man. Mm-hmm. And when you understand that geographically, like the brother just elaborated, that's all of that, man. That's from Israel, Syria, yep. um Iraq. Iran, mm-hmm. Afghan, it's all of that, man. Uh, Saudi Arabia. So oh. if you you simple as Jake said, want to go to Israel, why why don't you go to Saudi Arabia and, and hold it down there? Go to Syria too. Why don't you go to Syria? Why don't why don't you go to Iraq? Because all that is the promised land. That's right. Mm-hmm. We're not compromising with these damn Jew rats over here by our land, man. Mm-hmm. We about to take it, man. That's it. Ain't no compromise with these damn Jew rags. The land isn't even fruit. It's not time to be over there, man. Right. You're out of order, man. Mm-hmm. And that's how you know that GMS has the 100% truth and correct mm-hmm. doctrine. And that gives you, because it gives you a clear understanding that, yeah, we, we go into the faith aspect of things, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. We go into the history. We go into the uh, geographical sense of things. Yeah. All right? Yeah. When you, when you look and understand the, the geography of things, it gives you a broader understanding, mm-hmm. especially like the brother was mentioning, uh, how our that land is just not that strip which we see on. We got a world globe right here. Yeah, yeah, I've been looking at it all yeah. that time. We got we got a world globe right here, Salakia. That's where I got uh, pressing it right there. Let me see if I can get it on camera. Uh, yeah. You can barely even see his room right here. It, it you know was, what that man? little that is not that's just. That's that's like the citadel. Yeah. The, the whole the root in actuality the, the nation of Israel is the entire Middle East. That's exactly. the, that's the whole nation of Israel. Yeah. All right, from the Nile River, which is what um uh uh, uh Gihon. Gihon, that's right. Gihon. All right. Uh, what, and then you rephrase it was this Parath and um yep. um the Tigris, which is uh Chidiko. Yeah. You know, so you yeah. see, yeah. so like it, so you see that little, you can't even see it right there. But what we saying is, all of this, all of this right here is exactly. our, is ours. Exactly. So that goes to show you mm-hmm. when you reread uh, Second Ezra the thirteen chapter, really everything that Yahweh Shai is gonna cleanse over there. Yeah. That's a big lot of That's land. That's a huge lot of land. And he's gonna cleanse it. But where do you see where do you see Armageddon taking place though? What is that? The gathering of the troops. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, uh, right over there yeah. in over there in Syria, Syria, Iraq, Iraq Turkey, Iraq, Turkey, yeah. Syria, Iraq, Iran. Uh, yeah, They're trying Iran, to be Iran. Yeah. America is. We done. Uh, America been over there in Afghanistan. We probably fucking around with Saudi Arabia right. too. And that's a part of the issue. Yemen, Oman, all that. Mm-hmm. But that's a part of the these so called Jew rats, the, the people who are saying they're Jews, that they're not really Jews. They're Edomite. They're each they're the children of E, right? Perpetrating the fraud to be us, man. They have a project called the Greater Israel Project, right? Where they want to basically conquer all these nations. All right. And they the, these Jew rats, they have a plan to establish their own kingdom. Mm-hmm. But they're not the people. That's why everybody's coming up against them, and they don't have any peace. When we, when the true Jews come, go back to the land. When the elect go back to the land, it's not going to be a heathen saying a word, man. Mm-hmm. They're going to be in complete subjection mm-hmm. because they're going to understand the authority and power of Yah Bashi mm-hmm. Yahshua is superior, man. We're All not going right, to have yeah. to. We're not going to have to compromise with these nations and make treaties. And it ain't no goddamn democracy in the kingdom, man. What the hell is wrong with you people, man? You, if you can't see that what, what's taking place in Israel right now is off, then you, you just, you're not going to get it, man. Yeah. You're just not right, man. Be, you're, it's it's you're obvious. Those, you're yeah. one of those ones who think it, 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 ignorance is bliss. See, yeah. exactly, yeah. man. So, so we keep going in that old diary to finish it off. Time. This is um, verse 20. It says, And the captivity of this host of the children of Israel shall possess that of the Canaanites, even unto uh, Z- Zarephath. Zarephath and the captivity of Jerusalem, which is in Sarat, 
shall possess the cities. Sephirat. Um, the water. It shall possess the cities of the south. Mm -hmm. uh, 21. This is a good, this is a good way to end off. Go ahead. Con and saviors shall, shall come up on Mount Zion mm -hmm. to judge the Mount of Esau and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. That's right. The saviors. Yep. All right. We read all up and down the scriptures how we're going to be joint heirs. We read all up and down the scriptures how we're kings and priests and revelation and Romans and all these things. All right. We're also saviors. Okay. We're also saviors. Those are the 11 and 44. And they shall come up against Esau mm -hmm. in Jacob's trouble. Okay. In Jacob's trouble. Because you got to think about it. It's true. That's true. In, in uh, Obadiah 21, he says, and saviors shall come up. Uh, mm -hmm. Come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, correct? And that's going to start coming real soon, you know, starting with the men uh, on the highways and byways. We read uh, Ezekiel, was that 25th chapter, and it tells you that the Lord is going to execute, I'm paraphrasing, going to execute these things with his people, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. Straight up. Yeah. So, with the saviors, the elect 144. Right. Mm -hmm. It's going to start there. I think when Yahweh Shai said, uh, if I could, you know, shall I found, uh, find faith on earth? Or uh, why is something on the long, along the lines of, uh, or why should I start a fire if it's already been kindled? Yeah. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, just loosely paraphrasing what yeah. Yahweh Shai said. And, the saviors mm -hmm. are going to be already mm -hmm. on the planet Earth, judging Mount uh, the Mount of Esau yep. during Jacob's trouble. Mm -hmm. That's why this you won't Isaiah fifty nine. Yep. Why would you have it where it said where in seventeen where it says he will lift up the standard? Mm -hmm. When you go into that to that um, word standard, it means to disappear or yep. to escape, which Con. is simply spiritual power. What can a gun do against a guy who teleports? Yeah, what can a gun do against a guy who who flies or can make you instantaneously combust. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? You can't. You can't do anything. And those saviors are going to be doing that mm -hmm. during that time of Jacob's trouble, judging Esau Come. and rebuking his wicked inventions, like the scriptures say. Come. I got that to what you were talking about with Yahweh Shai. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Luke, Bring that up. Luke, Luke chapter 12, verse 49 says, I am come to send fire yeah. on the earth. And what will I if it be already kindled? And what will I if it already be kindled? We read in what verse eighteen, I think, mm -hmm. where it says, um, uh, uh, "Joseph the flame." If I'm not mistaken, Come on, yep, mm -hmm. Joseph the flame. Joseph the flame. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that flame and our fire, like we brought out in uh, Ezekiel sixteen and fifteen, it won't it won't be quenched. Until it consumes everything in the earth. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing with the spirit of uh, Yahweh Bashim Shai in those saviors in verse 21. And we're gonna be a flame, a force to be reckoned with that can't be uh that can't be touched mm -hmm. and can't be stopped at the end of the day. Okay. All right. Yes, the Lord Yahweh Shai is coming to send fire, but there's already gonna be a fire that's gonna be ignited mm -hmm. before he cracks in the skies. Uh -huh. You see? And that's yeah. that that's that burning anger. That he's going to um, unleash once he turns us to, um, Lord, will we be a part of that number? That's right. Once he turns us into hunters, things of that nature, okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to be out here literally de <laughs> destroying. We're going to be getting it in. All right? We're going to, what, judgment starts at the house of Israel first. So our two-thirds going to have to get it, all right? Mm -hmm. And then, last but not least, the fucking Edomites, man. That's right. All right? You guys are going to have to get it next, Okay. And he's, hey, the Lord's really going to use us, man. Just like he did back then. You know, you had men with spiritual power. Well, hey, in 2000, well, we're going into the year 2020, things of that nature. Hey, we're going to do greater things. <laughs> and those greater things, kind of, and those greater things are going to be destruction unto this wicked-ass kingdom. That's right. All right? Did y'all have any closing precepts? Yeah, I had a quick one. This Go is um, Isaiah chapter 47, yep. verse 13. It says, Thou art weary... In the multitude of thy counsels. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna start at one, then I'm gonna jump. Um, yeah. jump all right. This is um verse one. It says, "Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. 
sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. That's right. There's no more throne. All right. Mm -hmm. Because the Lord Yahweh is going to take that according to Revelation when he says he has many crowns upon his head. Right. Go ahead, bro. All right. Verse 13, it says, Thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsels. Mm -hmm. Let now the astrologers, mm -hmm. the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators mm -hmm. stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Mm -hmm. Behold, they shall be as stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. You see, the Lord, when you read the scripture, the Lord has all characteristics of Right there, he was expressing sarcasm. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Your astrologers and your prognosticators and all that. Let's see if It's the same thing he did in the book of Exodus. Yeah. Hey Moses, go turn. Oh, we can turn our staffs into snakes too. Yeah. Then Moses turned his into and, and consumed theirs. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's the same thing he's telling you right here in the book of Isaiah, but sarcastically. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. It's funny. We chuckle sometimes when you read the scripts. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. He said, Behold, they should be as stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. Yep. There shall not be a coal to warm it, nor fire to sit before it. Mm -hmm. All right. And, you know, when you're dealing with that, that last part, coal to stand at, nor fire to sit before it. All right. Let's go back to World War II, Battle of Stalingrad. All right, the, the, the Germans versus the, the Russians. Before the Germans came in idiotically and besieged Stalingrad, they had a, a relentless artillery um, barrage where they, they basically decimated the infrastructure of the city of Stalingrad. Well, guess what? When they tried to invade Stalingrad in that winter, all right, they were not able to um, take shelter anywhere and they didn't have anything to um, burn to make wood and, cook, and to cook their food right? because all the wood was burned up so what's, guess what a lot of those Germans froze to death man all right? so this, the same with um, uh, America you know, everything's going to be decimated, decimated man all right? there's not going to be nowhere for you to have comfort all right? there's going to be a wrap alright yeah I'm really God, God. so yeah that's it man that's the final installment of the book of Obadiah. And like we said, you can read the, the first two installments and, uh, you know, bring all of them together and you get the whole overview of um, of uh, the book of Obadiah, man. Mm -hmm. And Lord willing, y'all are edified. Again, I'm your brother, Kasha Kuala. My brother, Sakari. We're the Aqua. And we're part of the GMS Atlanta Church here in, in Georgia. We want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah by Shem, Makakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who will teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. Until next time, we'll say shalom. Shalom.